Debbie. Welcome to your home, your happy place. I am so happy that you joined me today. We're doing one of my most favorite things to do, which is a tablescape for fall. So in the dining room, let's just let the magic happen. Join me. So here's my dining table with no leaves. So at this rate, I seat six but it will do 10 with two leaves, but I am not going to put it up for that right now because I don't have anybody coming that will need it. So you know what I'm starting with. Um, I, I don't know if I've used one. I think I did. <laughs> um, it's the embroidered. So this one's got pumpkins and leaves. Um, I just love these. Get them at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, they're under $20. Just measure, measure your table before you go because they have different sizes. If you want it to hang over a little on the edges, then you definitely want to make sure you're getting the size you want. Okay. Next, I am, I wasn't sure I was gonna use these here. So I told you, I think I picked these up, well, on my last haul, and it's exactly the same fabric as, as the uh, table runner, same manufacturer, Tahari. Um, I love this deep gold. You know, if you've watched my videos, when I chose my palette for fall here at this house, it was gonna be a yellow gold and a cranberry and a dark green. Now, of course, some of the browns and the rusts are coming in and I'm not opposed to that because now it's starting to feel more like fall. So um, I also, if you see my wallpaper, it's um, a bright pink and green. And so the green really looks good, but the oranges are not going to be gorgeous, so I still am going to stay in a muted palette with that in this room. But let me go ahead and put these up. you'll notice is um, I'm not putting them on the ends and that's because there's enough padding there it's placemat size so I don't need it and I do have enough to do that I have enough so that if I pull it out I have eight anyway um, and I'm keeping the round not tucking it under and I'm not I'm doing that because I'm gonna be coming in with a charger which would you know, it needs that circle behind it. So if I tucked it under, it would look a little odd. I love the plates I'm gonna use. They're, oh, they're Pier 1 Imports, so I've had them for years. Um, and also, you know, I'm minimizing pumpkins this year. There will be pumpkins in this room, but rather than go with all my pumpkin plates, um, I've just chosen things that still have fall colors, and um, this has some of the green in it, and the golden, and the cranberry, and a little plum and blue. So um, I really think these are pretty. I only have plates and bowls, I think. I don't have uh, lunch plates, and I don't have um, coffee cups or anything like that, but it's all I need. But the fun thing I want to show you so I tell, I say people are queen of this and queen of that. I do think I'm queen of the chargers. So I just wanted to give you an idea of how different it can look. I selected three chargers of, from my stash that would definitely work with this plate. And I just wanted to um, show you the different looks you could get with it and see. I mean, I already know what I'm doing with it, but I just wanted to have fun and give you that opportunity to see. Okay, the first option is this wooden distressed green, which I did get at Pier 1. 
and it would work great in here. I have a green cabinet. We've got the green in the wallpaper, and honestly, green goes with anything. So I'm going to put the plate on, and you see right away what it does. I mean, the greens in the plate blend and just pull this in together with it, and then the the other colors, the three other colors on here just pop a little bit. Um, this is a great setting for casual. Um, I mean, not, I'm not saying super casual. I would still do this for Thanksgiving. It's gorgeous. I love the wood. Um, it brings in something that's uh, an element that's very beautiful. But uh, let's try something else. This one is definitely dressier. Again, though, I'm using something that's distressed and wood. It uh, looks great on, when I started this uh, project, I, did, I didn't have these placemats either. So that has, that's playing a little bit to, uh, differently with it than before. Okay, now this one, I'm not as in love with because I'll tell you what it does for me is this is much more white than this uh, in here. And so while my plate pops, I feel like it's a, just a detraction. However, because of the gold here, this looks kind of cool. Now I'm gonna take this away and see what it looked like before because why would I have left that in there? Mm, I still am not in love with it. Mm -mm. So it would have been ruled out pretty quickly. And then this one I bought last year. I'm pretty sure I got these at Hobby Lobby. Um, and they are plastic, although they don't look it. Um, and while they are gold and they're kind of brushed like a little bit of distressed or antiquing, um, I feel like the scallops on them and some of these other details make them a little cottagey, which I love. The huge difference you see here is now the green kind of pops and the gold in the pears is, I don't know, I, I'm just really enjoying this. And of course, this is the one I decided to choose. There's not a, ever a wrong choice, you guys. Some of you may really, really be drawn to this one more and wish I would have used it, but we're not all made the same. And so that's what's so wonderful about your home, your happy place. If this was your house, you'd pick whatever color. I mean, ooh, can you imagine what a plum would look like on here? Oh, because plum and gold are amazing together. Even a cranberry, wow. Okay, let's set the table. Notice how this gold is popping also off of this white or creamy velvet. I love that. I was a little concerned once I knew I was going to try these gold placemats that I was messing up the way these were looking. But I think it, I don't know, I'm happy with how it how it turned out. I have an extra one here. I guess that was because I was playing. All righty, let's pop those plates in. to use this so I got this in one of my hauls I can't I did two hauls for fall if you missed them go back and check them out so you can see where I got things in case you're interested um, this was a home goods find I don't recall the price I kind of want to say it was about 30 but I don't remember and 
There we go. I'm going to place it right there. It's hard for you to see, but once I start filling it in with things, I think you'll be able to definitely see it better. I didn't buy a new garland. This is something I had. The colors are not uh, overly orange, and they definitely have a little bit of green in them. I mean, they are definitely orange. I shouldn't say they are. So I'm just going to wrap gold pumpkins. a hundred times and it'll look different every time. Now I'm going to just put in some pine cones that I picked up from the yard. Not this year. Last, I'm going to put in the sunflower candles that I bought at Home Goods. Again, they were in my haul. The smell is amazing. And I may have to come back in with um, something for the base to make these uh, not be, you know, leaning. They're not perfectly straight when they're in there. They're not bad though. I think that was less than five minutes to a centerpiece that's just gorgeous. This is using one uh, new candlestick holder and new candlesticks. Beyond that, I had everything else. And it just, you know, it's, it really, really sets off the table. Lovely. Um, it would be nice to have electric ones if you were going to have dinner. But I love the scent. And... Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I still, I kind of love some of the old fashioned things when people actually did use real fire. I'm 
I've decided to go with gold, obviously. That's the really the right choice, unless you had some colored uh, flatware or maybe a wood type, bamboo, anything like that would look really handsome. Um, but I don't. And I have a few sets of the gold. I think I inherited a set, a set or two from my mother. And then, you guys, I bought my first set of gold flatware on QVC when I was um, up in the middle of the night nursing my children. <laughs> I was like, oh, that looks nice. Let me buy that. This is before Amazon, right? We, we still had a way to order things and not have to go out. And they're still around. Probably doing well. Let me know in the comments if you shop QVC. I forget about them all the time. I pulled out um, gold cloth napkins. I'm sure I bought these at um, Pier One. And they've been in the napkin ring, which is why they look like they do. <laughs> um, I considered doubling them with one that had some beading on it. But when I did it, it was it just became a detraction because I have the printed plate and then my um, napkin ring is so beautiful. So let me show you that. I absolutely adore these. Look at that beautiful. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Unfortunately, um, I could only find four of them. And I know that I have probably 12, but I couldn't find them. So I'm going to mix. I don't let things like that bother me. Um, for this size table, th this will be, uh, the four will be on the, four that have the placemates, and then I'm going to do a completely different um, ring, same napkin, on the head and the foot of the table. I just pull it through. I puff it a little bit, and I don't want to see that, so I will mess around with it till that is not showing and you can do it either way uh, with it this way but I, I, I like it this way because you see more of the plate right up front I'm still trying to hide that tag there we go oh goodness I broke it okay let's fix that I see what it is. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. Pretty, right? Okay, I'm going to get the others and set them out. My last two, I'm using a um, jewelry piece of, I mean, it is a napkin ring, but it looks more like jewelry, but it has my gold in it, like my pumpkins, a little cranberry and a little mm, rust and, and maybe brown. And I'm just doing exactly the same form mat, and I'm going to poof that out and put one on each plate. Yeah, I need my glasses. Um, I'll do that last. But you might think I was almost done, but I know a lot of you love it when I add the wreaths to the back of the chair. 
and I really didn't have fall wreaths, and I could have just done a bow or something or kind of taken a pick. I mean, that's a great idea. Get a pick or a little bunch of picks, like three, tie a ribbon around them and tie them around if you've got like a, po a single post you could do. There's a lot of ideas you could do. I mean, it would be really cute to do something on the corners. You know, I, you, you see them in the back of a lot, but how about right on the corner, like asymmetrical all around? Them? Anyway. Okay, I must have gone through five different wreaths while I was shopping Hobby Lobby. I'm like, okay, let me grab something that looks like my inside of my centerpiece. And then you can kind of see a little bit of my mantle, which will be a future video. But um, I have gone through three different wreaths up there as well. And these are all wreaths I have. I didn't buy any new wreaths this year, I don't think. Well, I, I did, but that's for outside. So then you'll see that later um, on a different video. But uh, anyway, in the end, when I saw these, it was like done. I don't even care. They were a couple dollars more than the ones that I was going for. But when you see it, you'll understand. Um, so... This reminds me of a few things. We've got the pear from my plate and a very dark pumpkin. So we don't have any bright, bright orange on here. We've got a muted green, which I'm loving. It looks a, a lot like my plates, you guys. And then, and then there's a sunflower that's not crazy bright yellow um, on twigs with just little pieces of just beauty on them. Lots of little pine cones and nuts. And uh, these were uh, $9.99, then you get 40% off, so, okay. What was I gonna hang them with? Well, I had bought that um, burlap that I had spoke of, I really never showed it to you, on my front porch, and I bought some dark green ribbon, and I thought I would double, because the burlap was this wide and the dark green is this wide. But then I started thinking about the gold, and I really wanted the gold, and so, I went on Amazon and I found, they came in a package of three of these. They're on a wooden spool and it has, if you can see, it has a frayed edge. So I can't wait to try it out and see how that's gonna work. Gotta go get some scissors. I gotta detach all the price tags and all that stuff from these and then I'm gonna start tying. I just wanted you to see close up what this looked like. Isn't it pretty? It is cloth, but it has a, a satiny sheen to it, but very, very pliable. There's the back of my chair, uh, except the two on the end, as you can see that one over there, is a whole different back on it. Um, so I think I'm gonna tie it through here and then just let the bow drape over. So I'm going to wait before I add a bow. I'm going to make sure I have enough to do all. Oh, I'm sure I do because I have six rolls like that one. And that one's not hardly used at all. But I do love this ribbon. I am going to be buying some more of it for Christmas. I'll have it linked below in my Amazon stores. Here's the finished 
tablescape for fall in my dining room, you all. I just think it looks so lovely. Here's what we ended up doing. I tied it, I moved the knot down. I decided no bow, because there's enough going on with that wreath. It is very, very busy. But I feel like it's a very, I don't know, it's, it's a very calm overall table. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I forgot my glasses. Already blew out my candles, so I just wanted you to see how pretty it was once I added that. You guys, thank you for joining me today. I am hoping that you enjoyed, especially the little charger idea. Um, maybe you just want to do one little thing different to your table this year, and that can change the whole personality or do two things, you know, change out your napkins, change out your chargers, keep your same plates. Go from, uh, I'm using copper goblets to crystal. I mean, just the smallest tweak can give it a whole new personality. And so I hope you got some great ideas for your fall tablescapes, whether it's casual, dining room, breakfast room, whatever. I also wanted to tell you I am starting to do some Christmas shops on my Amazon storefront. So if there's a category that you are interested in, like, I don't know, family pajamas or, you know, some kind of specialized department, because I will do gifts for men and women, etc. but whatever, um, let me know in the comments so I can help out because I do enjoy it. And I'm just going to show you a couple things. So today I am wearing... I love this sweater. Let's see if I can get it close enough. It's got a billowed, like it goes down and then there's a seam here and it billows out. V-neck sweater has a seam down the back. Let me walk all the way over there so you can see how long it is. I guess you can see me. So this is made to hang out. Here, let me show you this way. It's not made to be tucked in. It's not fitted. It's nice and blousey. And I will link this one below, but I do have an Amazon storefront shop for fall clothes. And then, in, you know, I was looking for something and here was this and I love, you know, a great, these are metal, um, and it just says on it, in a world full of roses, be a sunflower. I don't know what that means. I mean, I like the one about um, flamingos stand out. You know, I don't know that. I don't, I can't remember what it is. But anyway, I will link this as well. I just am enjoying embracing some little bitty things for fall um, that are just making me happy. So if you enjoyed this video, would you give me a like? I look forward to comments, and if you are new, welcome. I hope you stay. I have so many more rooms to do. I just had a full house, um, so I had all my bedrooms refreshed for fall, and it's not what you think. So I'm just going to kind of do my bedrooms. I'm going to do, what else have we got? Well, my entryway, my back deck, uh, the rec room downstairs. Of course, I haven't done, my husband's not letting me do anything in this study this year. Hmm. Um, and then the butler's pantry. So we have a few more rooms to do and then we'll do a fall tour. And so that's going to take a few weeks and I hope I can get it all done before it's time for Christmas decor. But I just enjoy your time. I enjoy your comments. Thank you so much. I will see you next time at your home, your happy place, you guys. Bye.